past year in Gotwick, we've seen a rise to prominence of monotype account building and just general formations in PvP. There are many reasons for this. Bows becoming so popular force people towards it with the melee units because at the end of the day, this is a game of numbers and if you're trying to simultaneously stack stats onto three different unit types at once, someone of equal strength funneling every avenue towards stats on their account into bows will realistically beat someone who is diluting their stats across multiple unit types to such an extent. At this point, the synergies available to bows have been power corrupt a fair bit, so the concept of equal strength might be slightly controversial as a concept, but I think you get the point. Basically diluting your stats onto multiple unit types in a vacuum will therefore cause you to lose against someone who doesn't dilute their stats at all if the counter system is omitted from the equation at least. So bows were a big factor in pushing people towards mono. Then there were weapons being introduced which allowed you to further funnel stats onto a single unit type to much much higher numbers to, uh, compared to what was previously possible if you have like 5 infantry attack weapons on a commander let alone if they're like 4 stars that goes into the hundreds of unit attacks of course and then there's base attack on top of that which just scales that even further so if you spread those buffs across multiple lines you're really minimizing the maximum output you can get out of them and then past that you have just more and more things being added to the game such as castle awakening which lets you add tons of passive attack stats obviously and you can I won't say easily but quite realistically as a mid spender now push your attack stats on a single unit type uh, above 2000% when including uh, total attack and even well well beyond that if you're one of the, the top top accounts in the game but despite all of these factors lending credence towards monotype formations it isn't just a matter of stats it's a big part of it but it's certainly not the only factor perhaps the biggest factor for female type builds especially since the entirety of the synergy found within them is built around commander active damage is the way in which troop distribution affects the damage your commanders deal themselves i feel like a bit of a broken record with this but i'm gonna say it anyway I'm not sure if this is intentional when it comes to the coding of the game, but it's just how it works when you actually look at commander damage and reports. So the long and short of it is that you will effectively do more commander damage the fewer lines you're running in the fight. So I have a few uh, test subject examples here with an all of mine. Uh, I vaguely tried to group bow attack and infantry attack as closely as possible it's not perfect not totally equal it's as close as i could get it and you'll see the trends anyway it's not it doesn't need to be exact to prove my point so i used bows and inf on inf myself to uh bypass the counter system basically so there's no shenanigans with uh being countered or getting countered to skew the numbers and it's just one commander Again, no counter system on their active damage, uh, no RNG, no luck elements of Layla or Salma multi procking it or anything like that. It's just uh, flat damage numbers, nothing more to it than that. So if you look at, probably the easiest way to show it is in here. So it says enemy army, uh, active army skill does 1200 damage across the fight. And then if you look at bows, it should be about the same rate, and it's 1331 damage across the fight. If you look in the battle record, you can see uh, how much they're doing per 11 seconds. So it's 521, and it is uh, 436 on the, the one there, and it will just scale down as the fight goes on. The, the, Specifics in the battle record are fairly bugged right now, since at the time of recording at least, since the uh, recent Rebel Group update, where they introduced these things. So, the easiest way to prove this is through these numbers from my experience right now. Kind of annoying, but just how it is. But they're mixed, you would expect, with these numbers, 
and the exact same troops, the exact same bonuses on every single one to be somewhere in between uh, these two numbers, right? So somewhere in between 1,200 and 1,331, because mathematically that is what makes the most sense. The test scenarios are the exact same, same commanders, same troops, same synergy, uh, just different troop types in the fight. No counter system, <laughs> it's just the troop distribution that changes. Then you look at this, and it's 729 active army skill damage across the fight, which is near enough half of what it was given previously. So just splitting the troop distribution in half effectively halves the commander damage you deal in the fight. And you can see this even further uh, with this one. You have to take this with a bit of a pinch of salt because there is no uh, cav or spear attack in this test whatsoever. But it still proves the point quite well, I think, in that it halves again. So you can visualize it sort of as like 100% active damage with monotype, 50% active damage with uh, like two lines, but then it goes down to 25% active damage when you, you split the troop types by 25% as well. So again, I don't know if this is intentional, but it is definitely how it works in practice. It's very, very noticeable in fights. And so knowing this information, unless you're really offsetting the importance of commander damage in your build, so say you're running bleed where Sonara is silencing all the commanders regardless, or you're running a multi-line weakness build where you're gaining more value through the extra weakness stacks you're putting on the enemy than you would get through the commander damage, uh, you're going to want to at least take it into consideration when you're thinking about how you set up uh, if you're thinking about running multiple lines that because if you do set up with mixed troop types you are effectively reducing your maximum damage output before you get even get into the fight itself fighting is such a situational thing in this game of course so you will have to play to the counter system within reason but it is i think nonetheless uh, a good rule to try and abide to where possible just keep that in your head. Monotype formations will do more commander damage than mixed type formations. So if you're running female, you're building around uh, active damage, you have the dragon skills for it with uh, like follow up and commander damage. You've got Layla, you've got Salma. All your damage is built around your commanders doing as much damage as possible. You're really going to want to try and run monotype formations where possible to, to maximize their damage output because of that.